hello guys welcome to today's video by trust stanley and this is a ts tech talks video on today's video guys i'm going to show you how to blog on your telegram application so um blogging on telegram application is actually very cool and very unique and is not something that everybody know um, when you open a telegram or if you're visiting a telegram group or a telegram page once you notice article like this once it says a stand view and you can notice it's written by um, or is written in telegraph so um, you can click on this stand view to view the telegraph and even in the telegraph area you can notice that um, there are embedded link you can see the links you can see this is an embedded youtube video you can add images you can um, add text you can add captions to them make it blog and it works just like a blog and if you notice on the bottom area it actually displays how many people that have actually read that um that telegram blog post now let me go ahead and close it out and show you guys how to create this telegram blog post blog post um to create a telegram blog post there are um, different things you need to do go ahead and open a browser just about any browser and this is a previous blog post i created open a new tab and then go ahead and tab type in um telegra telegra.ph telegraph.ph and then click on forward to open it so it's going to display this way the first the first option is going to be your title the second should be your name and the third one should be the stories and once you're done you click on publish and you are going to publish so i'm going to say so i just said this is my new post and then the post is made by And then on the story area, I do not have any story and writing um, is probably going to take a lot of time. So I'm actually going to make use of dummy test. So I'm going to search for dummy. I'm going to search for dummy test. And I'm going to go ahead and click on the lipsum. I actually don't memorize their website, but this is actually what I was looking for. I'm going to go ahead and copy out all of this. Actually, you can go ahead and type in whatever you want, but um, just because I want this to contain a lot of information, that's the reason why I'm copying it. If not, you can go ahead and type in anything you want right on the telegraph area. You notice I put in the title, put in the name of the author or the author of the blog. And then on the story area, this is where you enter your story you can see so go ahead and type in every post you want to have right on this blog section but for my case i'm going to paste what i just copied right now and you can notice there is a lot of lines of test in it so let's say i just typed all of this test and then probably this wasn't um bold and it was small all you need to do actually to make a test bold or bigger let me go ahead and um actually double click to give a paragraph and then i'm going to say you know what this is actually um picking off the previous um format for this test so i wanted to give a blank test so that i'll be able to show you guys how it work okay um this is ts tech right so now um, to make this bigger, all you need to do is to go ahead and highlight everything. You know how to highlight, right? Go ahead and move this away. Actually, it's supposed to give you an option for um, our telegraph. And this is our option for our telegraph. You notice it gives you an option to actually make the test bigger. So I'm going to choose that bigger test. You notice it's bigger, right? If I tap in the smaller one, you notice it becomes smaller. So I want to leave it as a bigger test and it's already on board. So no need to board in it. So I think that is fair enough. And that is just similar to the same size we have up here and up here on this um, capital letter. So let's say we already have all we want. We know how to make it bold and to make it smaller, just type in and on default is actually on a small letter. So if probably you are done writing whatever you want to write, now you want to add an image. To add an image, just double click or double tap on this um, enter space on your keyboard 
on your um, key area or your keypad area on your screen and then you are going to notice this camera icon go ahead and tap on the camera icon and go ahead and click on files to actually choose a particular file or a particular picture that is already existing on your phone i don't think i have one okay let me just choose this particular picture so i already choose that picture and it's being uploaded it just it's uploaded now now you can actually add a caption if you want to so i'm going to say that is what i wrote now that is my laptop so um i just wrote my laptop as a caption and i'm okay with the picture now let's say we want to add a test to a link we want to add a link to a test now all you need to do let me go ahead and open um youtube actually and i want to copy a link exactly um i'm not sure this is let me just copy this video link i know the video is long just copy the link come over to your area where you were making the test and you notice that um first icon or the first lauren ipc i'm going to highlight it once you highlight it gives you this option and all you need to do um is to click you notice this um link icon just the third icon just after the board click on that once you click on it you notice where it says paste your link right there now you notice the link that i have already copied is already existing but if you do not have this option just click and hold and then paste the link once you paste the link just tap go on your keyboard and it will be um you notice the link is generated because it's now underscored don't worry that underscored is not going to display anyway but it's actually going to notify people that that is a link now let's assume we want to add a youtube video right here somewhere in the video area let's say maybe on this bottom area i want to add a youtube video so let me come right here and then let me go ahead and go over to um the ts tech channel and then i'm going to search out one of my video and i'm going to click on share and i'm going to copy the link i'm going to come right back to this text area i'm going to tap tap here and you notice this um um arrow button just after the camera icon go ahead and tap on it you notice it now says paste um a youtube link a vimo link you can also post any link that contains a video right here and then or a post just click and hold and then share and once you uh already copied it click on this enter on your keyboard or it might be displaying go on your keyboard now you notice the youtube video have displayed but if this is actually a post from your facebook um i don't think i'm logged into any facebook right there so it's not going to display if that is actually a post from facebook it can also be copied and pasted here and it will be displayed as a post if also is an instagram it can also be pasted just about any link you have just go ahead copy it and paste and it will display as a post now if you don't type in all you need to do is to click on publish now click on publish and wait for it to say edit now you can notice that the post was published and it was published on september 17. now this post is already published and is already saved in our article also guys you can also upload just the way i uploaded an image you can also upload video that same way so i'm going to tap on this area copy this link to my post and then go over to my telegram area and then i'm going to um, wherever you want to have this display just go ahead and and paste the link and then share it and you are going to notice it displays this way now if it displays this way anybody can easily read it the thumbnail is actually loading because my internet is a bit slow it's not going to load faster if your internet is fast it can load fast perfectly fast and easy so it actually automatically makes our thumbnail um our image on the um on the blog post our thumbnail and if i click on instant view you can see i can easily read you notice the way it displays very nice i can scroll down and i can see the youtube video i can play this youtube video without going into the youtube channel without even um logging into the youtube channel it can play this video smoothly on the telegraph and this is all you can do on the telegram um blog post so this is very useful this is not that complex it's very useful and i'm going to show you guys just how to do it on your desktop version on my next video so i hope this video is helpful if it is smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for more video i'm going to see you guys on my next video stay safe and peace